Yeah. So, so when you get to Alto, with everything that's going on, what was your first eye opener? And say, you know what? Oh, it, oh, it just got real. Man, I'm gonna I'm tell you the truth, bro. The first time when when it got real to me, it wasn't even like on no foolishness first. You feel what I'm saying? It was on the first time I seen this air so shuffle. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Not the play play, but you know, some real big niggas getting to it. And I'm seeing these niggas work these ones and two. And you know, when you when, when when you a young nigga and you a fight, you feel what I'm saying? You coming out with this street fight, but you know, and all this here. But when you step into the world and see something that you done heard about and really see these niggas going at it with this style of fight, yeah. you know that when I know right then and there, all right, bro, you better go ahead and tighten up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The one that lost, I can't even be him. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's on a level of, man, hey, bro, look, you better tighten it up there. You know, this is like the home of God. Everything go on in here. So, you know, man, look, it's real. Then, you know, you done heard the rape stories and stuff like that. Yeah. And you need to finally witness it yeah. and see how it go down. That was another wake up call. Like, hey, you know what, nigga, man, miss me with all the rest of it, nigga. Look, it's you gonna eat or you gonna get eaten in this thing. You feel what I'm Sim saying? Simple as it. Really, and that's the part that a turn a nigga into like somewhat of a savage. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because you gonna be savage mode or you gonna be you gonna be lunch meat. Exactly, cause you know you you gonna you gonna adapt to your own um, your environment anyway. But you know I'm a laid back player, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I handle business when I got to. Yeah. So you know I'm always try to help before I hurt. But then when you come in contact like this and realize, nigga, y'all already just went to coke, nigga. You seen it wasn't nothing fair in there. And you in, in, in the system for real. You see it ain't nothing fair in here. She, you know, that's the part that'll change a nigga right then and there. And really, it was like, she, you know, it pop out shouted. That's it now, man. I don't care if I can and can't beat you. I don't know how that shit gonna end. I know how it gonna begin, though. And I'm popping out. That's it. It gonna turn you into a sack. Right? Okay, do you remember your first run-in? Yeah, my first run-in, it was like, man, I actually tell you my first run-in with my first date coming in there you feel what i'm saying because you gonna have niggas that gonna be looking like man i don't even nigga know that young nigga man oh that young nigga ew, 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 ew. and you know back then it wasn't no it, it, it wasn't no gang banging then it was where you from you yeah know what I'm saying? it was atlanta uh making augusta columbia you know what i mean down south against atlanta savannah all that, that it was where you from and so you know by me being green to that when I first come in, so when I did diagnostic time, like, it was a couple of dudes that came in there with me, and I remember diagnostic, I used to chop it up with them diagnostic, and they weren't from the city, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, when they come in there, it's basically like, your homeboy gonna come get you, hey, shot, hey, that's your homeboy right there. Ain't you no know, nigga come through, so, you know, he didn't have no homeboy. He was one of them type people. That, you know what I mean? Coming there, you ain't got no home, but you come from a little, a little rugged out back ass town where you, you got two stop signs and got and one of them got the red light on it, you know, stuff like that. Though. So, you know, in the mix of him putting this stuff in his room, his roommates is trying him off the muscle. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. They try him off the muscle. So when he come back out and I hit the flow, you know what I mean? I'm talking, I ain't talk to my homies, big homies, and woo, woo, woo. And he hit the floor again. He come down like, it was like four of us, and he come down, he like, man, somebody done stole my store. And keep in mind, bro, I went in this thing. I'm I'm like five four then. Yeah. I'm a five four. Love mine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, where your room at? Nigga, let go. So we shoot to the nigga room, and I see the niggas, and they just standing there looking like, and I'm like, she, you know, I step in the door. I'm like, hey, man, what's y'all stuff at, man? And, you know, a nigga smile at me like, hey, 
you a new boy, man. You stay up out there, bitch. Ain't got nothing to do with you. And just that bad, they call my big homies. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, man, they got brushed up. And he ain't even finna play out like that, my nigga. So, you know, this one, they finna give me the rules, but they ain't finna give me the rules right then and there. You feel what I'm saying? We finna have that being it. And then, you feel what I'm saying? So, long story short, after that, they came with Shouter stuff. They like, man, we just want to see what he was about. Yeah, yeah, whatever, nigga. Come on with that. So, you know, I done created some enemies and a new nigga already behind this nigga here. But it's cool with me. But that when we sit hell of that situation, my, my big homies, they pulled me out. They like, look at here, bro. This how this go with here, man. Yeah. It's where you from. That nigga is not from the city. Period. So we don't even know him like that. The, we gonna ride. It gonna be a time where we gonna have to ride against niggas that's not from the city. So listen, this is what's going on. You can't save these niggas. I'm like, save these niggas. What you mean by save these niggas? Listen, let these niggas go through what they go through because you gonna have to go through what you gotta go through. Okay. And I understood that fast. I'm like, man. So basically, I was supposed to let sit back and let them even handle it. Being, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. And, and the story about that, that now you know this same dude. This the situation. There, there was another situation that let. Oh man, I mean, hell, so for real. You feel what I'm saying? Because with this situation, niggas peeped it. Okay, you niggas saw. You feel what I'm saying? So you know he pulled some probably like a couple nights later. He pulled one of the niggas that came across the yard with us. I told him four, but they came. Oh, that nigga seen how real it was that first day. That night, that nigga signed PC. He, he's a father, you know what I mean? This yeah. nigga didn't come flight. I'm like, huh? But anyway, the nigga that it happened to, about two nights later, that when this nigga, he go in and catch out too. He signed PC too, he in the hole. But he come back out and get put in another door, like right next to me. So, you know, when he come out, you know, we had the wellness walk, you know what I mean? Get the yard, like, what's that about? Whoa, 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 whoa. And my other partners that's in the door with them, like, Charlie, look, you, 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 that's your partner? I got like, yeah, Charlie, cool, man. Look out for the nigga. Yeah. And, and, and when he told me, then he like, it ain't no nigga not for him. It's over already. Yeah. Like, what you mean? Is, oh, what, 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 what you mean? Is, oh, we already. Like, bro, that ain't got him. What you mean? They got, they got ticket stuff? So I'm like, man, oh, what, 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 he say, nah, so it ain't like that, but no, I don't know, I'm being raped, and he ain't killed nothing. Mm. I said, what the, so I'm like, man, hey, but let, let, let me, let me holler at you for a minute, man, so you know, I put him to the side, I'm like, look at him, man, what done went on with you, and he's like, nah, what, he, he ain't going to what's going on, so I'm like, man, nah, 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 I done heard what's going on. But you know, I had something that happened to you, man. And you probably was out number. What you want to do, man? I, I got a couple of folks that can put a little something in my hand, man. And we could, you know what I mean, try to take care of it, man. And when the nigga told me, bro, when the nigga said, nah, my nigga, it's all right, I'm good. That changed my life right then and there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that changed my life. I'm gonna look, how can you... Be good with, oh, man, it's over. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man, let me go ahead and tighten up and go for real. And that's when I understood everything my homies was telling me, bro, because, like, everybody ain't built like you. Everybody ain't built the same. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't matter whatever image they portray, we are not on the street no more. Ain't no guns in here. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And that way let me know, like, all the muscle, like, hey, man, look, go on here and scrap up that pretty boy cool, that pretty boy cool, let me back tight stuff, that shit, that out the wonder, man, hey, nigga, savage mode, nigga, go back to your, your the other part of you, because, you know, we have more than one part, right? yeah. you know what I mean? Go to your other side, keep that anger side, and, like, man, it was like, when I flipped into that mode, it was still love, you know what I mean? It's love for all, all my partners. But it was just that hatred, it flipped over to the white people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That hatred, it flipped right then and there. And man, that's what I was known for. Like, you know what I mean? I never had, like, they ain't put no, 
I I never had no crocodiles in my room, man. It took them 15 years to ever put a crocodile in my room, man. Like, even when I was in Alto, they put a white dude in there for, like, uh, to count time. When they came <laughs> they counted, a white person was in my room, that's when they immediately took him out of there. Yeah. Me, uh, sent him straight to the hole because I didn't know how they had them label me already from the courts. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I was already labeled. I don't like white people. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it took 15 years that I did time for them to ever just really give me a white person as a roommate. But by the end, I had them realize that shit. I wasn't racist. I just didn't like who didn't like me. I didn't yeah. care who you were. Yeah. Um, Okay, when you got to ask him what dorm you was in? Yeah. Oh, you went straight to B. Ace, man. Yeah. Yeah, one crazy Ace, man. L2, that was stupid dude. Stupid man. dude. <laughs> June. June. <laughs> June. <laughs> man, you know that was bad when when Jeff and that was our school. I think them boys like 23 and 1. Back then, they come out by the hour wreck. Yeah. Go back in, hey man, it with it is. Yeah. It was turned up, man. Look back. What's up? There's nothing wrong with you, bro. But yeah, man, it's like, oh uh, man, and you know, I see, I, I, I seen like now, I didn't like the first riot, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh man, I love the death, but. But there was a time where I seen how easy it is for you to get killed. You feel what I'm saying? Because in the mix of a riot, everybody is moving around with weapons. I'm saying, what kind of riot? Y'all had a riot down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took out with the police, though. Now, why? I mean, why? How, how did this come about? What happened? Man, the big homies, man. <laughs> the big homies, man. I'm talking about, man. They was with that for real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they real city niggas, man. I'm talking about, and, and you know, us, we like, I, I shouldn't always say me. I learned a lot. I, I was something up. Everything they were putting out there. Yeah. And they home now. Like, I, I'm, they are home now. They're doing good, man. Actually, I, everybody that did all that time, like, they doing good because I, I, well, we went through that something different, bro. But anyway, it was them. You feel what I'm saying? And, and actually, it was some hate racing from a female officer that liked it, one of the big homies, you know what I mean? And it was an officer that liked it, huh? And he was jealous. So he came in there starring something. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it did not go right. And, you know, like, we was trained. I was trained already, man. You know, come here. And he told me, like, bro, look, when it's like this in here, bro, when it went, when one of the ride, we all ride. So I don't care what it is and who it's on. When we when one ride, we ride. And that's what it was. So when I see the commotion like that, there we just piled up all the muscle anyway and got them. You know, Sony, you know, I ain't told the officer, hey man, you touch me, I'm fine on you. And the officer, the officer thought it was a joke, man. And as soon as he touched me, Shouted five, and when shouted five, we roll. Yeah, we turned. I'm sorry when I say it turned up. I'm gonna tell you this: how Alto got down, bro. When it turned up, we roll hard. Everything coming there, and they they outnumber. You feel what I'm saying? So we stop. You feel what I'm saying? We stop. Like man, let them go ahead and get up out of here. We done tore water pounds and everything. You know, man, let them go and get up out of here. So, you know, we let the police get up out of there. They go get their batons and all this here, little ride gear, whatever. They come in there a little bit deeper. And so, you know, the one they can't respect what then happened already, they try to turn it up a notch again. So we take flight again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we take flight again. But I'm going to tell you how, the, the, like, the love for air. So after, after we get through doing that round two, we get through doing that. Them e building niggas, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they get wind of it, oh, them niggas that turned up down now, oh, no, bro, we turn up too. Yeah. Them niggas pop it off. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, where the baby get? Oh, that's your boss's purpose, bro. I'm going to go down the forest. Yeah, because he got on the bed and everything. Me too. But yeah, man. 
his, his dad probably done said, I'll eat it in, in the room right there. It's a yellow bag. Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he built and set it out. He built and turned up. I'm like, oh, but this what, this what going on? And that really, like, in the, in the dude meter, like, I pray it. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to like the hell. We can yeah. get to it for real. And I, I, I'm loving that because it was the unity. You feel what I'm saying? Keep in mind, Alto is like up there in the game via winning the mountains. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, we're up there in the mountains with the redneck, them, 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 them racist crackers. You feel what I'm saying? We're yeah. up here. Yeah. So, you know, everything that worked there, man, you probably can count on your hand how many blacks worked up, bro. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, we're like, we is like, nah, we ain't going for it, nigga. We are not going for them when you hear in the stories about Hayes prison, hot same thing, you feel what I'm saying? Like them racist them racist crowds are there, they killing niggas there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Them niggas may be all the same too, but they weren't doing what we was doing. They weren't unified like how we was unified and they are so cut for the simple fact. When you damn bad one, y'all already know what y'all looking for. Yeah. We coming with it. Yeah. We we gonna wait till tomorrow. We're gonna come really right then and there. Yeah. And that's what we was known for and like really like that's what Alto nigga, that's why we so the family, the bond is a bond beyond like any other bond because yeah. it didn't matter we fought each other there or whatever, however. When we left that prison and was in other prisons, we still stuck together because we were known as Alto nigga. It was the bond of we was respected because, like, when you get transferred from Alto and go to another prison back then, you gonna get moved to the side. Time you hit that prison, the, the, the search team gonna move you to the side. Bro, I had that thing that when they closed it down, bro, they moved us to Washington, bro. This is a true story, bro. Uh, you know, like the shower was the shower with Alto, bro. When we went there, it was an open door. It was a five man shower. So then we come back for red car, you know. It about, it about 12 of us that came from Alto. I done heard people saying something, but ain't nobody came to me directly and said that. Yeah. I come back from Red Call, but you go in there, it might be, you know, a line. But anytime anybody from Alto go to the shower, but they clear it out. <laughs> 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 they clear it out. They're like, everybody from Alto gay, they'll rape something, bro. Yeah, they yeah. move. Yeah. They move. Man, it's like, bro, it's like, <laughs> Either be eight, you feel what I'm saying, and and that that they're gonna always stand right there, man, because they know, like, we were labeled the rape capital, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's man, crazy. Like, man, them folks in some bro, coming at pain, man. You got like like seventy rape cases going on. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying. Yeah, seventy for seventy rape cases, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. People got to investigate 70 different rape cases. Not seven, but 70 different rape cases, man. Yeah. And this is on a regular. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I understood quickly, like, why when we got transferred, we were, we were treated. The, all, all the time you transfer, whatever prison you go to out there, you go directly to the disciplinary dome. Yep, off the muscle. All the money, you going to the disciplinary dorm. As soon as you get out of the bus, they're going to move everybody there from Alto. You get moved to the side. Then the third team come in with that little bouffle speech. You know what I mean? Little try to lay it down. Oh, yeah, we don't do this. Yo, we don't go. Hey, yeah, nigga. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, apparently, you doing it for a reason. You know how we get down. Yeah. So you ain't talking about nothing, nigga. If you know how we get down, you done heard the story. Nigga, just hope you don't be one to one. We get down on too, man. Yeah. Send me to the district. Uh, let me let me see where the rest of my partners at. Yeah. So we, <laughs> and then where the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I went little asshole, man. I went to Calhoun. Yeah. That yeah, was the bucket of the blues. Yeah, yeah. What and then hold on, did and then where they uh thought you would tee out off that? <laughs> God, that was making stay up. Man, man, you man, gotta give me that. I want it. That one that was like, man. Hold on, hold on. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> 